Hi everyone, this is Ryan Wisner. We're uh, here today at the ARA 2020 show in Orlando. I'm here with uh, Tim Phelps from uh, Barreto Manufacturing and we've got a new uh, mini skid steer line that uh, they're getting into. So, Tim, could you tell me a little bit about this new machine? Yeah, so again, this is uh, this is a new machine for us. It is, uh, we call it the 825 TKL. Okay. And it is the 800 pound capacity mini skid steer. Okay. Um, overall lifting capacity of this unit is 2,300 pounds. The unit itself weighs around 3,000 pounds. Okay. Uh, we're powering it with a Kubota 1105 diesel engine. Okay. And that's around 25 horsepower. Um, again, new class for us. Uh, we're going to be building these in limited production this year. And uh, yeah, pretty excited about this. It's a great new product for us. Sure. Okay. And so uh, uh, we're obviously here at the ARA show, so you yes. can see this as being something uh, pretty, uh, pretty good for the rental market then? It is. This is something that we've seen in the rental for many years. Um, we've actually been working on it for quite some time. Cool. Um, there's, uh, uh, these have been in the rental market. They were first introduced as wheeled machines, um, but tracks have kind of taken over a little bit. Sure. And again, this is our only model. Um, this is kind of the size class that we see, that we wanted to get into. We see a lot of these. Okay. Um, yeah, and we it's a it's a nice tool for rental. You know, it kind of gives uh, a lot of different uh, has a lot of different things as far as when they go to rent out. People uh, there's an array of attachments that utilizes a universal attaching plate on the front. Okay. So okay. most of the ones that are out there um, utilize all the same attachments, and they're all set up to run all these same attachments. Um, so yeah, it's it's something that's been in rental for quite some time, and uh, okay. it's still popular and seems to be evolving quite nicely. Okay. So what sorts of applications are there for a machine like this? Then I mean, I um, be, being a, a mini skid, so it's it's similar that you'd have with a skid steer. It's uh, just a little uh, a little tighter, but it's so it can get into some smaller areas, perhaps. Yeah. I mean, so you do have your large skid steers, um, but a lot of times people are going to want to use these in the backyard application uh, okay. places like that places to where they just don't have the room for for a large for a large unit or for a homeowner you know a homeowner is going to find that a, that a large skid steer is pretty intimidating you sure know, something like this is going to be a lot a lot less intimidating and you yeah know, if you wanted to if you've never ran a skid steer before a large one or a small one you could take this one and it's very intuitive and you could use it sure you, know, you could say okay yeah i can handle that you know i can go in i can use the bucket for for uh, tearing up a yard or a tiller or a trencher, um, okay. whatever you may need. Sure. Um, so it is a they they are a nice uh, a nice tool. Um, a lot of different people can use them, and again, it, it's being able to get into tight areas as well. Sure. Okay. So, like you said, into the backyards and stuff. So, I mean, landscapers yes. would, would yep. utilize something yeah, like this. Yeah, and a lot of landscapers own these. Um, okay. So they they own them, they rent them. Um, again, they have all the different attachments that they could they could do if they need to go in and and uh, do a sprinkler system and then replant that lawn or something. They can go in, they can till it up, they can put the sprinkler system in, and they can run you know put a tiller attachment on it, run the tiller through there. Okay. Um, just very versatile machines sure so and your and yours does have the universal attachment yes, plate so i mean yes. so you do it yep. they have would have the ability on yours to it yes you utilize the various yes. attachments and a lot that are of available. companies already have their attachments um and you know rental stores are going to already have attachments and the attachments are readily available um, okay. and they are um and there's a, there is a lot of them a lot of sure ones sure okay so f as far as the machine itself then i mean with it being uh good for the rental market and stuff and kind of intuitive uh, what what about in terms of uh, maintenance wise maintenance wise on this um, when we when we go out and and when we engineer something we always engineer with with maintenance in mind so we try to sure. make it to where it's easy accessible this machine you can actually you know any of your routine maintenance oil changes filter changes anything like that can be done by just popping the hood up Okay. The other thing that we have incorporated on this machine is it is like the full size skid steer to where it has an actual cab over design. Okay. So it takes about 30, 30 minutes to cab this over so then that would give the operator, the owner of the machine uh, an ability to go in there and replace engines, major repairs with ease because okay. you can cab that over. Sure. And so that was another feature that we wanted to incorporate on this, on this type of a machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, well, what else? What is there anything else you can uh, maybe tell me about this uh, this particular uh, model? 
Um, I think that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's uh, again, these are these are already in the industry, um, sure. and we're you know we're getting into it. We have developed a couple different things. Uh, would mention on the on the track roller system, oh, we've kind of yeah. done some different things there. We yeah. have two sets of bogies that actually articulate. Okay. So when you're actually going across hard soils, uh, rocks, things like that, mm -hmm. you can actually absorb that a little bit. It increases the ride. It makes it a lot smoother riding. Okay. Um, that was another area that we wanted to uh, focus on and that we accomplished. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So. Okay. And do you, is uh, Beretto, I mean, this is, this is the uh, first model. Uh, I mean, is there... Uh, in the future, will there, there be potentially other sizes or, or other variations on this? Right now, this is our obviously our only model. Sure. Um, the, the plan is to proceed with this one, get it into full production, and then we'll kind of evaluate from there. Okay. Um, if anything, we'll probably maybe look at doing a smaller model next. Uh, sure. But again, we, we have quite a bit of work in front of us just on this one. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, and, and so are these... Uh, they're, these are in production this year then? Yes, they are. Yes, okay. they are in production, limited production this year, and we'll probably be in, uh, our plan is to be in full production for 2021 on this product. Okay, excellent. And uh, for to find some more information on these products, where can people go? Yeah, you could go to our website, which is uh, BerettoMFG.com, okay. and that's where you can find more information on, on this product and all the Beretto products. Okay. Thanks for telling us about the uh, 825 TKL, and uh, we'll see you at the next show. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot.